today's project is going to be fixing this tailstock pusher. Um, the paint and everything is in good shape and the handle's in good shape and it functions, uh, but there is an issue that is really bothersome. Take off the handle there. We've got our gear, which is a, make sure the camera's seeing that, um, is a uh, spur gear and it just rotates on this shaft and engages with the rack underneath the lip of the bed. And the problem is it slips a lot and that's because it's just worn. Let me pull you in closer so you can see what I'm talking about. So here's our problem. The uh, gear is in, I mean, it's not like completely destroyed, but it's in pretty bad shape. Obviously, as it's been lowered into position, it's kind of banged against the gear rack and the front of all of these teeth are pretty, pretty well shot. So when you're using this and trying to spin, sometimes it'll slip if the, uh, if the teeth aren't fully engaged. And so this is um, gonna be an interesting little thing. As you can see, there's a, a pin in there. I'm assuming it's a tapered pin. We'll measure to make sure we find the small end if it's, if it's not straight. To solve this, we went online and ordered a eight pitch 12 tooth gear. This is a Boston gear, part number NH12B. Anyway, should be interesting. I, I've never done anything quite like this. Um, and I think I've got the right item here to, to do this. This is non-hardened, but I imagine it's made of a, a very nice quality steel. So it's probably not gonna turn like butter, but it'll make uh, a nice sharp tool, should be fine boring out the hole. So let me get a, uh, my calipers and a punch and we'll see if this pin is tapered or straight and then we'll pop it out. That was even easier than expected. So yeah, there's our pin. I'm sure it's been off before based on how easy that was. And, oh, I guess maybe we've got a, oh, interesting. That's cool. So it looks like we've got a bronze wear ring or bushing that goes against the uh, cast iron housing here. That's kind of cool. You know, it's just the difference between Monarch and a lesser uh, machine tool maker. So they wouldn't do something like that and it, this would just wear against the, the cast iron and slide a little bit and you know, somebody else might not care. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So anyway, we've got our gear off and pull this down and there's our shaft. Pretty, pretty straightforward. So it looks like, oh yeah, I'll get a shot of it, but you see that the center section's a little different looking um, from here and here. And that's because there are bushings in here that it that this shaft rides on, but there's not a, there's a, they're two, two separate bushings. So there's a gap in the middle. So yeah, hopefully you can see that. There's two different, two different bushings in there. So I'm assuming that is from the factory and not that this thing wore so badly that someone had to come in and, you know, bore it out and sleeve it. Um, I'll have to look in my parts manual and see if it shows any of this. But yeah, those are look like bronze. Hmm, bronze and brass, because those look like two different materials. Interesting. So here's our new gear. Similar enough, I think. Now the Outside diameter to accommodate our pen is definitely gonna be smaller. And hopefully that won't cause any problems for, her, for this project. But we've got one inch 140 there and one inch, yeah, 394. So it's quite a bit bigger. Since we've got our new printed manual that uh, Joe Way sent us. I figured let's uh, satisfy some curiosity right now. 
So here on the tailstock page, you see number 19 there is the arm, and number 18, there's two of them. And if we come over here to the breakdown, we see rack pinion bushing on the rack pinion hinge. And then down at number 22, we see the rack pinion, which is a 12 tooth, eight pitch gear. So I think we are in business here. For something like this, that's gonna be a little bit less straightforward compared to just a piece of solid round. Uh, here's a little trick I use often. So I've just got this dowel pin that's got one end turned down and the other end is three quarter, which is the bore of our new gear. So just put that in the chuck and then we take our gear that's got a nice close fit with that three quarter inch pin. And then what we do is wind the tailstock Will forward. Oops. Bumping into one of the jaws. There we go. So I can get kind of a decent starting point about where middle is. Okay, just barely touching there. I'll go back just a bit. Just about touching, and then this last jaw will get us touching on all four. And back out the quill, and the pin comes, but the gear stays. It's pretty darn close. I did get a greater reading on the outside than that difference, so I guess the bore is a little bit um, non-concentric with the OD, but not by a lot. So we'll try and get that a tiny bit better since we can always try, right? So we're gonna think backwards here and tighten our lows. I don't want to smush down too hard on this just because it's not gonna stay perfectly round if we do that. I guess I can put this on zero for video purposes. So this is a thousandths indicator. So, well within one, It's a little bit of snugness at the very back of the gear, I think. But we can uh, take care of that if we need to. I think it's gonna be just great though. We've gotta remove 188 off of this thing. So we're gonna touch off and then use the uh, mag back indicator down here to step off our distance. I'm not holding on to that thing real tight, so I'm just gonna go with like 25 thou cuts.
Very nice. I think I'm gonna call it a night there. Um, not sure if I'm gonna do this in a couple of parts or not, but if it is two parts, we'll uh, change the change the video here. So really all that's left is making our hole for the tapered pen and then uh, reinstalling everything. As far as I can tell, there's not gonna be a need to put this back in the lathe and turn off these threads at all. They're a little bit longer than the originals, but they'll be sticking out in air as opposed to trying to jam into, you know, trying to jam into the casting of the bed. So turned out, uh, turned out all right so far. Not a great finish on the bore, but nice enough to do what it needs to.